Hey there. What's poppin', man? What's poppin'? <laughs> So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to a variant of I guess the three random games thing that we've done before on the channel. But instead, it's kind of going to be a throwback. If I go ahead, take this and... Just over there, so... So it's a throwback, alright? Come on right now. Today, I figured we'd take a little bit of an adventure on Steam and go back and check through some of the mixed reviews slash negative reviews with horror games. But why? Yeah, I'm always looking for the next good a little horror adventure, so I'm intentionally going back and looking at the things I would always give a miss. And oh boy, I think this is going to create an interesting video one way or another. So three different horror games, all with mixed to negative reviews, and bear in mind, guys, that's the opinion of the Steam reviewers and not myself. And we right now are going to go ahead and check them out. And if you do like this concept... I think you know what to do. This first game we find ourselves at, guys, is called The Mine. Let's get reading this thing. I'm excited. You find yourself lost in a mine. The only objective is to find a way out. But something lurks in the shadows, following, ah! hunting. Breathe. Good luck. It's simply a game of cat and mouse. You can run and hide, but your ultimate goal is to find the key and escape the mine. And here we are, guys. Wow. The Mine. Oh, okay. I see that clever play on words because it's the eyes. Seeing. Let's go ahead and do this. We are straight in the mine. So, uh, what the freak is that? Have I got like a torch or something? Wait. The heck? Whoa! Hey, hey! What the freak? The mine, literally! What the heck is going on? Um, I'm gonna make track. I got a floating pill bottle right next to me. So that's it. It seems to be locked. Perhaps there is a key somewhere. I should hope so. Second of all, my feet. I've got a limp, and uh, yeah, how am I able to make like the, you know, the loud clunky footsteps on soft sand? I don't know. So, okay, we've got an eye tracking forwards and the heck, you ugly looking thing. It makes my eyes go red as well, which is kind of coincidental. So back over here I go, next to the locked door. Says I can left click to toggle the torch. Uh, wait, hold up a sec. That's a lighter. I see. Wait, does it do anything? Hold up. It, it, it does, but what, what do you want? You know, what the freak do you want? Um, th that, this is, um... Oh no, you have died. Yeah, I, I, I died. Catch my drift, I, I died. Play on words, look. Let's try this crap again, all right? We're gonna boss it this time. So, can my light work? Why, why is my light not, hold up. I, I, the heck is the eye doing? Get the freak away from me, you weird looking thing. All right, I got my lighter working. I mean, I say that, but it gives me about a foot view. I'm gonna go down here and I really, can't see the slightest thing. Okay, we'll take this, I guess. Hi. What? What is it? Let me take it back over here. Uh, we'll place it by the lock. Look, can you not? Okay, I'm making progress. Back off on all your minions as well. Jeez. I don't really understand what's um what's going on right now. I'm kind of being attacked by eyes, I guess. Uh, and, and now they're going away because, because they can't be bothered, I guess. All right, I need to get down here, I think. This must... Can the eye stop? I'm making progress. Go away, okay? Back off. I'm just going to keep going down here. We've reached like an end. Oh, it does change... Now, I really do enjoy being able to see about an extra foot in front of myself. Really helps in situations like this. So, thanks, developer. Really, uh, really consider it. Right, do I go this way here? I, I can't even tell. I think I'm making progress, but I don't know what's exactly going on here. I think... Uh, am I in a new zone? Uh, guys, can you tell me, please? Like, what's going on here? This way here. Then, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run this way. Yeah, we're gonna keep, uh, keep running this way. Wait, this is actually a new zone, I think. Um, like a subsection. Crouching to here. Uh, How does the eye know where I am? Then we'll go this way here. Then stop wait, right what, there. What is? What am I doing right now? There's rocks in the way. Yep. Yeah, get out of my face. I poke you in the eye with my freaking. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm stuck again. Uh, I can't. I can't get out. I can't get out. I have dead. Oh. Now that's more like it. Now I can really see where I'm going. We are here making that sweet progression right now, though, guys. Let's freaking do this. I want to see exactly what the plot line for this game is. So we get to here. Then we have to duck under this. And oh, it does continue on. I see. And then it doesn't. And then it just doesn't continue on at all. Okay, let me try and go this way here. Oh, I see this. Uh, I think we're in new territory. I'm not 100% sure. Weird rock growings. Uh, yeah, okay. This torch is weak as heck. Look at this. Uh, why won't it light all of a sudden? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's here. Oh, no. And all your weird PNG JPEG minions. Oh, no. All right, next game. The next game on the list is called Glitch. Don't you hate it when you're casually walking through the forest when you fall 60 feet into the mysterious world, and it should say after that, and die? Well, that's what goes down, and now you must find your way back up. This freaking dude, I'm telling you, if I find any evidence that this guy intentionally found this place, we're gonna talk, developer. 
is going on? What is this dude's issue right now, okay? What's that? Was that necessary? If you go into the settings menu, you've got this scariness meter. It's about 100%. Look, I'm playing dangerous, guys. I play with the fire. And this theme tune is getting louder and louder. So, um, yeah, let's get into this game, shall we? So, this is a game. No, it's over here somewhere. What? It's gotta be. So, he is looking for it. Are true. Should be free. Freak is going. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think it's just here. Oh, what did this guy fall on or how much do we weigh? Two questions immediately I'm asking out of the bat. And okay, this looks a lot like a Bendy and the Ink Machine style game. And the controls are about four seconds behind. Wow. You got me. The Utah Daily News. The grand reopening. Okay, turn the power on. Ronic Entertainment. And your font is way too small, my guy. Okay, turn the power on. That that was really difficult. What the freak? Why is this place so... Let's keep it going. So it looks like this. Uh, we're going to move the boxes or something. Yep, pushing them all out of the way. Come on, here you go. Now the performance just shot straight up. Whoa. All right. Help us. Woo. The freak is your problem, okay? Your big old eye, big old mouth, big, big old, big old- And it just goes to quiet straight away. So, wait, what, what was the point in that? I'm a bit confused. So, it looks like it's some kind of child entertainment business. 60 feet underground, so I'm definitely getting those Bendy and the Ink Machine vibes. Almost down to like the graphical style as well. Exit is completely barricaded and I guess like boarded up with boulders. Let's check the other side here. We do have a door. Uh, it looks like it had some text there at one point in time. And I can't open the door. Do we go back? What changed? I can't do anything else here. Let me check the door at the very back just here. Yep, I mean, we ain't getting through there. Um, I guess this is where we landed as well. And <laughs> I love the little body outline where we landed through. <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, I can't see daylight, so that was pretty, uh, that was a hefty fall. So we've seen this guy do the weird glitchy thing. Other than that, I'm not really sure what else the game wants us to do at the moment. Oh, this way here. Yep, I can see that now. What, well, what the freak is going on? Uh, what do we have here? The break room or break oom as the game calls it. Uh, I like the second one more gonna be honest Let's keep walking through so open the door find 10 buttons. Wow. That's a lot of buttons I gotta go press take one there incoming button montage. There you, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes Press all the buttons. Yes. All right now what the game. Oh, we pull the lever again, which is attached to nothing Okay, overly loud noise right there. What's going on this here? What do we see? Dang. Seems kind of dramatic. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna go on through. This may be the exit, so I uh, should be playing happy music right now, you know? That's more the uh, thing I'm going for here. So, crack the code. Wait, what What code? What do you mean? We've got three levers in here. Let's uh, go ahead, I guess. We'll pull them, see what happens. I don't know exactly what it means by crack the code. Uh, I don't get it. I did it! So I cracked the code, alright? They call me the cracking... Code, code master right here. Like yeah, this way here then I think. Um, it said explore the offices. Like this. Um, what is that noise? It's like a constant shutter rolling down or something. It's that one there. I think maybe? This leads into the, what is this? The main offices. Crack the code. I've, I've already cracked the code. Why would I crack the code again? So what do we have here? Very, very long co- What the heck? Um, yeah? I mean, that should have been playing a while ago. I'm trapped down here a while. Oh boy. We got a, uh, a friend down here. Hello? Anyone else with us? Probably. They just don't want to reply back because, I mean, that would, uh, that would take away definitely from their antagonist role. Ah, damn it. Stairs. My biggest weakness, clearly. Can only go down them, not back up. So we've got to crack ourselves a code, apparently, in order to get through this next part. I haven't seen uh, anything that involves cracking, you know? We hold up the break room. Have I ever been here? This looks kind of different. Uh, what the heck? Uh, restore some power. I mean, I should be more concerned with whatever's going on. I'm actually being stalked right now. I kind of want to be. Um, through here? What the freak is going on? I don't understand this game. Can it just chill for a second, okay? I'll pull that. I got power. Press the button. Okay. Uh, pull another lever. Great. Here we go. Um, wait, what? I, I, I don't know if I should be scared or, like, nervous or something. Give me that freaking button, okay? Shut this freaking ambience up. Let's go back, pull a switch. And there we go. Open the large door. All right, as long as it leads to freedom, I'm happy with this. Is this the large door here? What will it reveal? Another large door. Ugh. Okay, no, seriously, what does it want me to do now? Uh, it's just another door. My eyes are like all blurry. What? Why, why don't I just crouch and try the vent? Okay, yes, a darkened vent. That seems like a brilliant idea. I mean, we kind of know there's something definitely down here. Lots of noise, and I can't see anything. I don't know. Is that where I began? I, I think, should I go this way? 
Hey, we are making progress, I, I think. I'm gonna be adding some brightness as well so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Maybe I'm being stupid. I don't know. This is- uh, this is just like pinnacle top tier gameplay right here. Wait, what's this? Is that actual progression? Are you kidding me? I'm actually making it out of the vent. Okay, skip this. Look, I don't care yet. Ah! Let me out of the vent. This has been the scariest part of the game so far. Thank goodness I'm out. Uh, wait, why can't I- are you kidding me? I can't get out? Are you is, it, is this a practical joke? Wait, what? Let me blow my nose a second, guys. Just, um, yeah, just keep playing with the music. Hang on a sec. All right. Yeah, let's continue anyway. I mean, I'd love to get out of there, but apparently that doesn't work. I guess we'll go this way here. Okay. Yep. Something stalking us. Here we go. Get in the mood. Come on, guys. Do it with me. All right? Because this is really intense. We might die by Beris, okay? The, uh, I'm sure he's not a wolf. Probably some kind of dog hybrid. And I can't see. What, where, where am I going? This way. Okay. Here we go. We're making progression. This is it. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. All right, we're out. Uh, hello, wolf. You know, you know, you can still chase me right now. I'm, I'm just right here. Suit yourself. Press the button. Okay. Uh, nice little elevator. Sister location or not? Uh, I'm gonna press. Okay, take the stairs. I'm gonna take the elevator. It's probably a bad call, to be honest. You know, I'm probably gonna die. That's a long way to. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no, guys. I've done it. I've done it. I messed up. Oh no, I can't see. Oh no, I've got my eyes are gone blinded. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm spinning at light speed. I can't even see. Ah! I think I fell again. But I should be alright. I fell 60 foot before. What the heck is going on? Um, okay, yeah, we're falling right now, I think. No? Can I can I jump off now? I think I'm going down further right now. Yep. I'm descend. And that now The freak is going on. And we stopped. We're about 58,000 foot down right now, I think, guys. We went for a long time, but we're good, I guess. What? We're still going. Okay. So, uh, we came to a lower level, I guess. Can I just get out of here? Uh, why are my feet running whilst I'm crouched right now? You hear that? What, did we pass out or something? Are we good? Come on, open those eyes, bud. You're all right. You fell 60 foot and you was fine. You go in an elevator that has, like, spring-loaded stuff and... Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? I mean... Um, hi. Um... Wow. Okay. Um, Lucia, I, I kind of get why they, they, you know, they put you that deep with that face. Okay, game number three. Game number three is called One Wish. We're going to skip reading the blurb for this game, but all I know is that my one wish is that this game is better than the last two. The WASD movement. Good start. I freak, I'm like in limbo or something. I guess, you know, you'd go to the light. So let's go ahead and do this and see what happens as a result. Oh, it's a car. Uh-oh. Let's keep running at it. There you go. Now we're in a hospital bed. Bro. Those sheets are basically untouched. Our head must be like this and our body that big. You see that? Unless we make the bed as we get out. If so, teach me that. Go ahead, use the door. Let's go on down. Oh, man. Where, where I am? What kind of place is it? Keep going down. Uh, we can't use that. That's not really something reassuring you want to see. You know, when you're going down a hallway. Okay, phone is ringing. Hello, where I am? What kind of is it, place? Oh, man, they're engaged. That's a shame. This bathroom sucks, dude. What about if you've just taken a fresh dump, you open the door? Everyone is getting a waft of it in this corridor. I don't know why I consider things like that. Look, someone's got to. I guess I feel that wrong. The past cannot be returned. I, that's good? Things don't seem that, you know, good about our past so far. Let's keep going. Oh no, that's scary. Examine me. Uh, we can go ahead, rotate this thing. The results of a second examination of the driver confirmed the presence of alcohol in the blood. Another drunkard for which everyday innocent people die. Oh dear, we're dealing with a guy that does this, huh? That's not good at all. Okay. The freak be you, huh? Where I am? Where, what place I am in? I died, I think. What the heck? Okay, so don't go that way. We'll check out what's the uh, other way, I suppose. Looks like a door. It is necessary to open this door. For sure, there is another way out. We do have a fire exit right here. Apparently, that doesn't open. Is there like a code or something nearby? It moves. Let it do its thing. And then I guess we'll go ahead and grab whatever's right there. That'll do nicely. Okay, we can't touch that. I'll just go ahead and go right past it. Let's try this door here. Okay, it does open. Cool. I mean, going up flights of stairs probably isn't the best way to try and get out of a facility. Unless, of course, you plan scaling down this thing like Rapunzel. Eat your heart out. Okay, loads of empty beds. Got a box over here. The box? The heck is that? What the freak is that? Death is an eternal emptiness. Goodness. Thanks for the, uh, you know, the better outlook on death. This thing is gated off, so we can't go out there. I love this guy's attempt at a jump. Can we just... 
One more, one more. Come on, for the camera. Yeah, that's his jump right there. Uh, one of these is probably going to jump me, isn't it? I mean, like, I see those pores under there. Is that a four? Is that what it's trying to say? Three, six, uh, four or something? That is a four. So, four, six, three was the one we missed just before. What? Right. All right, can I? Okay, my game's broke. I looked at this thing for too long trying to figure out the code, and as a result, my guy's gone into a state of daydream, and I can't break him out of it, guys. So, um, this is where our adventure ends. Unfortunately, I, I know. I know how much you wanted to see the rest of this game. I know. But I gotta stop it here. Well, there we go anyway, guys. That was three random horror games. I mean, I said before, it's the Steam reviews I was going by. Not my own personal opinion, but um, you guys can make your own opinion up down below. That was three random horror games, though, and I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.